Today's video is going to be the Drugstore Diva Tag, which if you haven't heard about it, you pretty much go through all the categories of makeup and you show your favourite drugstore version of that. So foundation, mascara, everything. So pretty easy, I'll get right into it. So for foundation, my favourite drugstore foundations are both from Maybelline. The first one is the Dream Matte Mousse. This is only quite recent to me and I normally don't like mousse foundations, but this one is really, really nice. It sits nicely on the skin and it gives you a really nice kind of glowy complexion. The other foundation that I like is the Superstay, which is possibly the easiest one to work with. I find it's most comparable to Revlon Colorstay which is a lot more expensive but this one is a direct dupe for it. But the coverage of this is really nice and I'll wear this whenever I'm going out and I'm getting photos because it photographs the best. So those are my favorite foundations. As for my favorite powders I have two favorites as well. This first one I'm sure you can guess is the Australis Fresh and Flawless which I imagine pretty much every Aussie guru is going to mention but such a nice powder. It gives you such a nice soft finish on the skin and it also bumps up the coverage of your foundation so it just kind of gives you a really nice fresh and flawless finish. Who would have guessed? <laughs> so it's the Australis Fresh and Flawless and also the Avon Smooth Minerals which you would have seen in plenty of my videos but this would have to be my absolute favourite powder of all time. I've used this for I guess four years now, I don't know. I've used this ever since I was in high school so for a very very long time it has been a favourite but it just adds such a nice glow for a powder. I'm actually wearing it on my face today and they say that these have light reflecting pigments in them and you can see it on my skin. Like it just, it gives you a really nice glowy complexion and the coverage as a powder is amazing. I don't know how they do it, but this stuff is just like powdered gold in a jar. It's beautiful. <laughs> My favorite blushes are from Sleek, so they just look like this. They pretty much look exactly like NARS, except they're a little bit more square in the packaging, but their pigmentation of their blushes and the wear of them on your skin and how long they last is just the best blush that I've tried in the market. I've already discussed these blushes plenty of times, but I've used these for years, and this is still the original one that I bought, and you can't even see the pan yet. Like, I have used this so much, and that just goes to show how much pigmentation there is. You really only need the tiniest amount of these products and it gets you a full cheek and a full lasting day. My favourite highlighter at the moment is only a recent one but I have used plenty of their highlighters in the past and I think they are awesome. So my favourite at the moment is the Essence Metal Glam highlighter and as I've shown it's just a really nice champagne colour and it's actually very comparable to MAC Soft and Gentle but with Essence and their products they actually re-release a lot of their promotional lines so I believe there was a circus line that had this highlighter and now it's in the Metal Glam. So if you've seen this in my video and you wanted to try it and you can't find it, just wait until they release a new line and you might be able to find it in another name. But for the most part, Essence highlighters are very, very good quality. They're not powdery or anything like that and they are really, really nice and shimmery. Well, duh, it's a highlighter, but you get what I mean. My favourite drugstore eyeshadows would have to be the Sleek Eye Divine palettes, which I don't know if you really consider Sleek as a drugstore brand, but I do just because it's not high-end, so whatever. But you do have to buy these online, but like I said, the Sleek Eye Divine palettes are one of the best eyeshadows I have ever tried. They are comparable to MAC eyeshadows in the sense that they are very pigmented and velvety and soft and buttery. They're just really amazing quality eyeshadows considering this whole palette will cost you around $11 to $12. So you get a lot of value for your money with sleek eyeshadows and I think they are brilliant. They make you look like you spent a lot of money on your makeup but you really didn't. As for my favourite drugstore eyeliners, I'm going to play a little game with you guys and I'm going to give you 5 seconds right now to decide what my favourite eyeliners are. Alright, time's up. Easy guess. I'm sure all of you would have got this right, but it's the Maybelline Master Precise for a liquid liner. In my opinion, this is the easiest eyeliner to work with. It's one of the nicest eyeliners to work with, and it's only around $11 to $12. So if you want to get into doing liquid eyeliner and whatnot, this is the one that you need to go to because it is the easiest to work with. As for pencil eyeliner, I'm sure you would have guessed it as well, but it's this sleek twist up eye pencil. I have repurchased these probably 15 times. No joke. I've probably gone through that many of these, and I have backups in my drawer. So, best eyeliner of all time. I'm sure you would have guessed it. I don't need to talk about it anymore, but it's literally the blackest, longest wearing eyeliner I've ever worn. My favourite drugstore mascara really changes all the time. It just depends what I'm trying at the moment. I really like to try all different kinds, but at the moment, my favourite is the Essence Lash Mania Reloaded. You'd think I'd know the title by now because I've said it that many times, but this mascara is a really, really good mascara considering it's only around $5. So it's just a rubber bristle brush, but it just works so nicely. It gives you a nice black eyelashes with volume, length. It does everything good. 
And I also like the packaging. It's really eye-catching, so I don't have to go searching for it in my drawer. It's just like, ah, oh, silver. So this puppy is my favorite at the moment, but as I said, I'm always willing to try new things. Now, as for my favorite drugstore lipsticks, I really couldn't choose between three, so I'm just going to show them all. My first favorite is the Savvy Long-Lasting Matte Lipsticks, which you can get these from Priceline for around $6. They are a matte finish, which normally I really don't go for these. I find them a bit drying, but with this one in particular, I really like the color and finish that it gives on my lips. I don't think it's really drying on the lips. I actually find they're quite creamy as well, and I don't really know why that is, considering it's matte. I don't know, but it works. But the thing with these lipsticks is you've got to get a couple of uses out of them before they get really good. So for some reason, like the first five uses, it doesn't feel really nice, but as soon as you start wearing down the top layer, it is a brilliant lipstick. So as you saw with mine, it's totally run out. Like it doesn't roll up anymore, but I've already repurchased it and for $6, it's a steal. So that's my everyday lipstick, but as for the other days where I like a little bit more color, I go to either these two puppies. So this first one is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Make Me Pink, and it's just a really nice soft pink color. It's really nice and soft on the lips, and it actually adds a nice glow, which is weird. I don't know how it works. As soon as you apply this to your lips, your face instantly has a lot more color. And then as for the days where I like to add a lot more color, just a lot more everything, I go to the Australis for Law Lips. This color here is my favorite out of the line, and it's called Malibu and as you can see it is a hot pink but I like to wear this whenever I want to stand out so again it is a matte product so some people don't like matte products but I recommend you apply a lip balm underneath and this on top and it will give you a nice soft finish but the pigmentation of these is why I like them so much and it is ridiculous how bright this is like as you see it in the tube right now is how it goes on your lips it's crazy you've seen it in my videos before so I don't think I really need to explain it too much but the price of them it's great and the fact that they're an Aussie company is even better. So that's everything for my drugstore diva tag and as I went through the things I'm sure you guys <laughs> and as I went through everything I'm sure you guys have seen them plenty of times but they really are my favorite and I recommend you try every single one of those products. They are unbelievably cheap and great quality. So that's my tag done and that's the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. I said video so many times. Bye guys.